I'm going to start this one off with a bit of a disclaimer. Some of you may already know this, and some of you may not. Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland is technically not Alice in Wonderland. It's not the original story. It's a bit of a sequel, a return to kind of story. It's been a long time since I read the books, so I don't remember, but I don't think that much of what happens in this film happened in the books. I think it's a new story, and that's not a spoiler. I think it's supposed to be sort of a continuation, a sequel to the animated Disney original. Okay, with that out of the way, that is one of the important things to note about this. If you go in just expecting the Alice in Wonderland story the way you read it, you're going to be disappointed, at least to a certain extent. Now, something else that's very important is the fact that Burton tried to form a, a coherent, logical narrative. He tried to actually make a story out of this. And I gotta say, I lean towards the old saying, at least in some cases, and in this one especially, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's not meant to be a straightforward story. It is this series of bizarre, strange events. It is a very free tale, you know, very liberated. And that's part of what makes the original so great. Now, that in itself just makes this be different than the original. It means that we're not getting something just like the, the books. The problem is the story's also not, not great, at least. It's a bit flawed, and it's just pretty straightforward. I'm not going to give anything away here, but the basic idea is Alice returns to Wonderland, and now she's, like, needed. So what we're left with is a regular fantasy adventure story. And I gotta say, I love Tim Burton's work. I watch any movie of his I can get a hold of. But this does not hold up as a fantasy movie. It, it does not. And that's coming from someone who doesn't watch a lot of fantasy movies. I can tell. I'm sorry. Even I can tell. It's just not quite gripping and epic and wondrous enough. With trying to fit in so many peculiar characters, a lot of them just don't make that much of an impact, and the movie just doesn't have that much of an emotional impact on the viewer. Now, I'm not comparing this to, like, Lord of the Rings, because they did have about an hour more to develop characters, for each of the films, and it was always going to be a trilogy. But let's compare it to The Never Ending Story, for example. They're about equally long, and that is a much better movie. It has the adventure, it has the emotional impact, it has the epic good versus evil. This is also one of those few Tim Burton films that really don't feel that much like Tim Burton's work, and it's also among the most bland that he's directed. I mean, you can sense that it's him here and there, but it's also just so so sanitized and and while it can be goofy and weird, it still feels very buttoned down and way too careful. Yeah, I mean compared to his earlier work, I mean I saw Mars Attacks again recently, and in that one you can really feel that he's like just letting go. Just letting his ideas go where they would take him, and not to the point where it gets to be overwhelming either. The film isn't without positives. The effects are great. They don't quite have the impact that they should, but they look really good. The designs vary a bit. The cast is perfectly chosen. Stephen Fry as the Cheshire Cat is absolutely flawless. The moment Tim Burton got to direct this movie, it was obvious that Johnny Depp was going to be in it. Unfortunately, he can't quite seem to decide how to play the Hatter. Aspects of other of his roles kind of come and go, and it's a bit distracting. Hathaway is really good as the White Queen, 
and Helena Bonham Carter is spot on as the Red Queen. All in all, not a terrible movie, just an unnecessary one, I would say, and not that good of one, no matter how you look at it. If you want a good film or animated adaptation of Alice in Wonderland, I'm no expert, but I've heard that the Disney original from 1951, I think, is really, really good. I've heard that from a bunch of people. I would say go check that out.